What we wanted to do is soften the approach of guests to the lodge, so we brought the, um, the roadway back and we created this little garden area. And this portion of the building here where the gable is and the roof over the porch, that was built in the 30s and so it's historic. And it was built by an architect, Leonard Palm. He was a Swedish architect that um, had some significant uh, buildings in California. So we needed to preserve that facade. We had a bookstore there and then we had an entrance to the dining hall. Uh, but what we've done is we've opened up the bookstore. It's three times as big. We've made new offices and then we've completely renovated the dining hall. And in order to do all of that work, which was necessary because the building was really falling apart after 80 years of use, we built two new meeting rooms on the second story and we had a strategy of operating our offices and our dining hall out of those meeting rooms and then able to move out. Built on the foundation of the old Huxley meeting room, which what Aldous Huxley was an inspiration to the original founders of Esalen. And this room um, was really meant to incorporate all the seven directions. It's been about a 15 month project and we're just coming to the end. We're now finishing the meeting rooms, but this week we moved into the dining hall and it's amazing to be part of a community um, going through a transformation like this. It's like many people that know what it's like to have their kitchen remodeled, like it, it's enough just to have your kitchen remodeled. But when you're remodeling the kitchen, living room for 300 people, um, it's a whole nother level of upheaval. So we've made it through the gauntlet and this week it gives me chills just to talk about it. People are so happy, you know, to have their old dining hall back and to have things functioning and have the vision fully realized. So, yeah, it's really exciting to be here at this moment.